Well, hello guys. You know how these Love Island contestants, when they're on their Instagram, they're always somewhere nice, aren't they? Have you noticed? Even the past Love Island contestants, they're always on a holiday somewhere really nice. So I thought, yeah, I can do that. So I'll film this video in a bathtub, in a nice bathroom somewhere. And for those of you who don't think I'm in a bathtub, look, here's the shower head for the bathtub and it's dripping right now on my feet. I'm suffering for you guys. Perhaps not as much as Josh, who might be suffering, I doubt it, right now as these pictures emerged of him with another woman at a festival in London. It's what I really hate about journalists, The Sun in particular, is that we have no idea who this person he's with at the festival is, but they are wearing quite revealing clothing. But again, they don't tell us. So for all we know, it could be his cousin, could be his sister, could be an acquaintance, could be a friend. They don't make it clear, it's just Josh is spotted with another woman. What do you think? Suspicious or not suspicious? Probably not suspicious at all. Nothing to write home about. I don't think he'd be this foolish so early on. I think he's far too smart for that. But also I think he, he likes Mimi genuinely, so I'd be very surprised if anything weird was going on. But on the subject of weird stuff, do you remember when Io left the villa with Jess? We had that TikTok go up by that woman who said, you know, jump in the pool if your boyfriend came forth in Love Island. And Io has admitted in an interview that he's seen it and he flat out denies anything. So he says, I don't know who this person is. I don't know why they've put this TikTok up about me. It's completely untrue. So basically that means this woman who put the TikTok up was just completely falsifying everything, which seems really quite bad if that's... I just don't... I find it hard to believe that someone would make a video and put it on their channel on TikTok where you can clearly see their face in other videos and make up a total lie purely for clout. I know people do do that, but it seems incredibly foolish in this day and age. But he says, don't know who she is, never happened. So she's just making it up. So we were all wrong to follow that lead. Now, as a sign that perhaps the Love Island season is really coming to an end and the summer holidays are gradually moving on to their close, we have Ruben posting today that he's back at work, back at football, guys, back doing the job he was doing before he went in the villa. And yeah, it's like everyone going back to school, isn't it? You kind of think, oh, the fun's over now and we're all going to go back to our jobs at some point very soon. If you're not already back at yours, you might be watching this at work. Don't worry, we'll all be as miserable as you soon. No, I didn't mean that. I'm sure you love your job. But there we go. That's all I can really find that's going on in the Love Island world right now, guys. I'll find more stuff soon, I'm sure. But I think it's very much closing time at the Love Island Saloon for now. Thanks for watching, as always. And have a wonderful Monday. That's tomorrow, not today. Bye.